a warning. The following footage may contain distressing images. Some of the language used may cause offence. It's, there's something in here. I just don't like this area at all. This one I can't breathe. Is there three gentlemen here? There's someone up. If you want to come on down and join us here now, you're more than welcome. Ram's Island is located over one kilometre offshore from Lennymore Bay and Sandy Bay on the eastern side of Lochmere County Antrim. It is the largest lake in the British Isles. Ram's Island's area covers over 40 acres making it the largest island on the loch. The island is thickly wooded with a large amount of different species of tree, including oak, ash, willow, birch, beech, sycamore, and so on. Plants such as snowdrops, bluebells, primrose, wild mint, and wood campion can be seen on the land. The island was originally called Inishdagarin which meant Arne of Kerguera's daughter, and later became Inish Dargren. The English name Ram's Arne could have come from the Irish ending meaning Ren, or attributed to the island's resemblance in form to a ram's horn. A Viking fleet was believed to have spent the winter of 840 to 841 AD on Loch Nair. A monastery was established on Ram's Island around the 11th century and the 40 foot high round tower dates back to the same time period. It was apparently plundered and destroyed by a local tribe in 1121. The monks retreated to the top of the tower when the iron was under threat. Human bones and coffin boards were discovered underneath the surface within the round tower. Also nearby complete skeletal remains and brass fastening pins from monks cloaks or shrouds were found, further indicating that the island existed as a place of worship. With extensive loss of land around the area due to winter floods, work was done in the 1800s to dredge Loch Nair and construct three canals using the lock to link various ports and cities and improve navigation in the area. The lake lowered by 3.6 metres and as a result Rams Island grew in size from 6 acres to 25 acres.
outlaw and highwayman, Redmond O'Hanlon, took refuge on Rams Island in 1679. Wounded, he recuperated whilst hiding on the island. A bounty of £200 was put on O'Hanlon's head as a reward. He was murdered in April 1681 as he slept. He'd fallen victim to a blunderbuss gun that had been fired into his chest. The killer was his own brother. In 1804, Rumsheim was purchased by the Lord O'Neill, who built two summer houses, cottages, and planted the exotic garden. One of the cottages housed the caretaker. In 1944, Lord O'Neill's summer house cottage went on fire. The last of the caretakers to live on Rams Island were Richard and Jane Cardwell in 1883. In later years, Jane was looked after on the island by her great-granddaughters, Sadie Barr, the little, and her cousin, Elizabeth Grant. Sadie died in 2011, and the ashes are buried underneath an oak tree near a path on Rams Island, close to the harbour. In 2005, the River Ban and Loch Ness Association signed a 30-year lease for Rams Island. Other notable people to have visited Rams Island through the centuries include leading Irish revolutionary figure and one of the founding members of the United Irishmen, Theobald Wolvetone in 1795. Courtesan Laura Bell in 1850, an actor, filmmaker and author Richard Hayward in 1938. Nestled amongst woodland in an open area on the north side of the island is the Wishing Stone. Names engraved on trees mainly from dates between 1942 to 1944 are a reminder that the island was a favourite spot to visit for the American 8th Army Air Force military personnel during the Second World War. There is a Fenian tale belonging to how the lake was formed. A legendary giant named Finn McCool scooped up a chunk of earth and threw it at a Scottish rival. It fell into the Irish Sea, forming the Isle of Man, while the vast crater left behind became Loch Nair when it was filled with water. Introducing the team of investigators for the investigation. Karen Davis, Tracy Wilson, Nicola Law, Mandarin Lewis, Susan Williamson, and Julie Davis of Third Eye Adventurers. We join the team by the Round Tower. We're back down to zero. I was to get in spikes at one, back 13, 17, 25, 21, 25, 30, 37. Must never went that high? No. All here, right this area. Awesome. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Hey, is there anyone here that would like to communicate with us? Would you like to come forward? I need to 31. You can use any of these new devices. You can speak into my little mics in my hand that will record your voice if you have a voice. Is there anybody here from the old monastery? From the 9th century? That would be awesome. Don't be afraid of us. Come forward. We're here with total respect. Good 
see this in the light, isn't it? Out in the dark. Well, if you come closer to us, if you come up to this, you can make this flash to red. And then come it shoots, forward. It shoots up. Let us know you're here. If there's any spirits here, here would like to there's something here. Communicate with us, please come forward. Look, go see what I start here. It goes right up to 36. I got to here. One retaining flags on the K2. It seems to be here. Come forward, we need no harm. Come to the back. Is it that community? 32. It seems to be here. Somewhere around here. I mean, you no harm. I can't do you any harm. And either can any of these wee devices. Oh, could you do that again? It did go green once. Right Can you flash way up the red for us? Come on, that'll be really impressive. Here, here, Sick. here. Yeah. It's right in this spot. There, there's something. There's look, 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 look. look. I keep Does somebody have something over their stomach down here. I keep shooting right up in this spot here. It seems to be around this area. Did you get shot here, maybe in one of the battles, or? in the stomach or something. Come for our stick I keep getting like Sieja or Sieja. Really? Yeah, I was just as constant. Mm. I wonder if it's the ego. No, I don't know whether what it's a name. Been called? I don't know whether it's a name or a word or C I don't know. Colonel or C or Try and tune in a bit C. more. Does this word mean anything to you? Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, yes. Say, that, say, that. say that again. Siejo. Siejo. Is it does that mean anything to you? As soon as I said, does that mean I can do you that place right up to you? Yeah. Oh, there it goes! Oh, there it yeah, goes, yeah. Yeah, happy days. Brilliant, thank, thank you. you. Food name or thank you. Name? Is that your first name? Flash up. <gasps> For yes. First name. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh look. Oh, oh look. Didn't we say that name? Say it. Yeah. Yeah. It's when we say that name. Say it. 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 I hope we're saying it right. If we've got it wrong, I'm very sorry. Were you a Viking, Sergio? Did you attack this land with your, your ships? Did you live here? I can't no. Google, no. <laughs> There's something here. There's a very heavy energy here. Yeah, I felt like it's punch in the stomach. It feels very... Like somebody got... A face. Like fuzzy it's head. Really yeah. Yeah. Somebody's been injured noise. here. So yeah, you like can also speak through this. The spark mm -hmm. You can speak through here. Around here. Definitely, definitely here. Completely different. There's a completely different feeling here than what there is over there. Stone where you buried. Good. Hasn't moved from low no. No. Thirty-one. seems to be this spot. Mm -hmm. There's even a feeling around this spot. I was even trying to pick up something. Yeah, can you hear that going like a deeper? And oh, that I, would. I thought I would actually it? heard something, but I'm not sure. Come on, you I, can that's speak. why I was down like that. Mm. You can speak through this wee box. Could you give, could you give us your name? Are you here watching us from here? 
Is this where your bones are buried? Are you here? What did you say was this boat, sir? Siejo or Sieja? Siejo. We got that right. I can see when I hit this one, I can't breathe. See if you can feel it, like I, right here in this spot. Feel the same as me and, and, and Empath. Let's see if you can feel it there. That's you actually feel your stomach, you can't breathe. Yeah, it's like a pressure. Uh -huh, yeah, I fit right around my weight, or chest. 36. And it's like, it's definitely here. I, I, it's like <gasps> fading. I can feel something like, like fading. It's actually with a high, high starflation. Is that you? Can you come back to us? I don't know if it's a name or a word. I don't See you, Ja. It's going right up. It's going right and up. Did you hear a knock there? Was that somebody's? I heard it. Did you hear that too? I heard a knock there. Yeah. I heard that too. I heard that too. That was like, a, like something on... Like oh, that. Isn't it? Yeah. Bang, yeah. It's like sudden, sudden up wood. I, I feel a bit like not weak, but like yeah, fading. I, I can feel it. It's here. Yeah. I, can feel, I can't breathe. I wonder is this where he, he or she fell? I can't breathe in this spot. Is that you? Oh. Are you affected us here? You know, I can feel the cold right round me, but my face is burning. It's definitely something there. It's definitely something there. It's not feeling off. A wee bit light here. Yeah, I found yeah. it like that. I wonder if we're just going to stab. Were you stabbed? As the rest of the team leave the area to visit another spot on the island, Tracy and Mandolin connect at a table for a seance in the attempt to make contact with any astral beings. Shadow went right over my face and knocked me out of that for a second. Oh, right, go away. Oh. I almost picked him just like flinging spears. I can just see people that off a boat. Do you? Lots of people that off a boat. Is it a rusty boat? No, it's like it's got white sails on it. Brown boat with white sails. Mm. People don't know if they're running. They're running from something. From something? Or something. It's coming out of the them. They're hiding. And there's monks. There's monks. And, and sea monks, yeah. Person's hurt. One person's hurt. Oh. Oh, come on. oh he's coming to me. Go on. I've got greens. I've, I've got, got greens. Some pinks. I've got greens. Oh, greens. Dark greens. Oh, curtains. That went away. Somebody hurt me and it just went blurry. But all gone. Someone's just touched my back. Really? Yeah, right in the oh middle of my back. My God. Who are you? J, there's an initial J on a tree. There's an initial J. Somebody's looking up. Somebody's. Depths. Never had that before. That oh my God. Weird. The colours were yeah. unreal. That's 
cool. The colours of that were unreal. I could see that I tire see, was purple. I could see that so bright purple. Clear. Yeah, the whole ship. But there was, was a bright door. Purple. And, and, I couldn't find the door. Going in. <laughs> I was <there> lost. <laughs> was windy stairs, and somebody couldn't get in because they were hurt, and then it just went blurry. Whenever you said that person was hurt, I got this real light feeling, like I was being lifted. It was, oh, but it was all colourful. It was like rainbow colours. There was a boat. I had this boat. Oh, and I couldn't get hell. the word boat was going over and over and over in my head. I couldn't get the word boat out, and it was coming toward, and people were getting off. But there was something. It was a sailboat coming for them, and. and first half of the investigation had ended and a break was needed. Food was taken by the campfire and darkness descended onto the island. Introducing the team of investigators for the investigation. Liz Reeves, Tanya Best and Alison Williams of RIP Paranormal. We join the team by the round tower. What age are you? Behind it, there's a lady who uh, comes through these trees and bushes. We don't know who she is, we're feeling she might be a lady who used to live on the island. And there's actually a memorial plaque for her um, here on the island. And she does come through there. Uh, there's also been a figure seen falling from the top of the tower. Also. And there's ruins over there. There's been he's caught and you've also seen shadow people. It just, it just gives me the heebie-jeebies. But you can see it's a lady and she's wearing a hat. You can look out a hat. One of the big... Do you think it's Victorian ladies? You know the, you know the like straw hat type things? Like bonnet things? You can see the outline of that on her. And she is slim. And I'd say she wouldn't be that tall. Um, I haven't seen this figure, but I have seen her. Because me and Ollie seen what looks like a figure standing there. Yeah, and over here. And we then we say stuff maybe it's someone coming up from with like just with the torch. Mm -hmm. But we would have been past us by now. Mm -hmm. So it had to be a figure with standing standing there. It, it was a male figure though. I have expected some past this dinner. And she's sitting the energy down there where I think it there. But I'm okay here. Up there, I don't, I'm on easy. Torch down there. Oh, I down there. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Can you not? I feel calm here. Find this tree. 
I'm calm here. Yeah. Don't get the heebie jeebies up there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. I keep checking. I keep looking. Just take your time. If you ever want to stop, just then stop it here and we can calm down and slow down. I just don't like to be at the end. Okay. <laughs> it's always the ones in the middle. Go first because the ones that are behind are always neat. Listen behind them <laughs> to see what's coming up. <laughs> I don't like being at the end or the front. <laughs> I really want to stop in the long run. It's alright. Oh, it's quite hard to be at the back. I can't too sorry, darling. But you can't get in into that side. No, you can't even. There's no other. Do you want to walk around and see? <laughs> Good for you. So much. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Yes, excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Maybe it's respiratory or something. Uh -huh. Thank you so so much for showing us, and we're sorry if you passed. I mean, you might have been asthmatic, maybe. Um, we apologise for your ill health. Thank you so, so much for coming close. We really, really appreciate it. If you use the energy, somebody's playing with my pom-pom. Mm. My hat. Thank you. Keep looking over there. Um, <laughs> mm. I have a... Sorry, it keeps touching me. I get the back. Sorry, I just... I thought I saw... I don't know, it would be weird, but I saw, like, in a limb. Yeah. Something <laughs> just go behind you, Alison. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> energy. Somebody's playing with my pom-pom. Energy. -pom. Mm. This bit here yeah. mm -hmm. is a real negative bit. But what we saw seem mm -hmm. negative. Yeah. Do you know what I'm going to do? Not very long. I'm going to shoot that bit on this. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell the world here, okay? Yeah. Thank you for working with me. Can you tell me is there any spirits with us here tonight? Spirit, is there more than, Rod, is there more than five spirits with us? Is there less than five? Less than five spirits here. Okay. Please straighten up, Rod. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Is there three gentlemen here? In spirit. Is there three gentlemen in spirit here? Okay, thank you. Who's getting up? Right, there's somebody behind me here. Okay. Are the spirits happy that we're here tonight? Will they work with us tonight if we ask them questions? Thank you, thank you, please up. If we ask, if there, sorry, what name do you think you got? Um, just a name for Harry or Is there someone Harper. here, sorry? Harper. Is there someone here called Harper? Both of you agree? Okay, they said they're going to work with you, sweetheart. Hello, everybody, for coming through there. That's great. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Did you hear that, yeah? Standing on my left hand side. Please work with Sarah. You said that you'd work with her. Then no. Yes. Hello. Hey, bro. Can you some of the lights and make me go and talk about stuff? Do you remember me? Because if it's working to chase me, like, as well. Yeah, it's, yeah, things like tie up, the, the, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. We're hearing movement as a, well, it's usually we hear now. Someone knows you, someone does all of that, does So if you ever hear someone knows you, somebody does that. Hello! There's somebody up there. There's someone up there. Come on, come on down and join us here now. You're, you're more than welcome. Come on, on down. Pat, we can hear you. I, I, I need it. Do you need it, Danny? I know you're trying to get this. It's going in. It's just because it's mostly all branches. Uh, it's very steep there. Mm -hmm. yeah, there's just a. I don't know. I don't think that's anybody. It matters. You're more than welcome, whoever they are. Again, Chris, thank you so much for coming forward and after presence to Nolan. Later on, using the thousand rods, Liz from RIP Paranormal managed to pick on spirit beings from the American and French armies. They were happy for questions to be asked. It was also revealed that there were spirit energies present from a religious order and a family that previously lived on the island. I'd like to personally thank Brian, Veronica, Eleanor and Dave for arranging the camping weekend and for their hospitality. My gratitude to the teams and individuals that took part in the documentary and to the River Band and Lochmere Association for their generosity. Been kicked more times than a brown penny from the streets to the gutter. The ground is just one place to start. You feel like running away, but you can't outrun yourself. Don't stop, move at your own pace.
Cause any place is a good place Any place is a good place to start